1984 is perhaps the most famous dystopian novel in modern history, written by George Orwell and published in 1949. It tells the tale of Winston Smith, a low-ranking member of the party. Frustrated by the ever-present eyes of the party and the ominous ruler, Big Brother. 1984 is considered one of the greatest pieces of modern literature written, and it is not difficult to see why. In fact, it's difficult to wrap my head around just how influential this work is. The level of depth is staggering, it's a masterpiece that remains ever relevant. It even invented words that many use today, like thought crime and double think. Some say it used the past to predict our future. Some say the powers and governments of today used it as inspiration for the practices they exhibit. Either way, the relevance of 1984 isn't going away anytime soon. Especially living in 21st century Great Britain, 1984 sometimes comes off as an outline of the life of the average working Joe in the country today. The book feels claustrophobic and has an aura of haunting hopelessness. It's very well engineered precisely structured and cold, depressing and hard, and yet warm and heartbreaking. Orwell seems intent on slapping all the major Western political systems repeatedly across the face in his book. This is one of those books that makes you take a minute and think about your own life, about the structure of the society you live in, and it makes you question just how much you really know about what's going on around you, about what you know of history and where real power lies. Today's dictatorships aren't spearheaded by charismatic and colourful leaders, they are disguised as democracies. Today's colonialism doesn't involve chaining up natives and sending them over on boats, it involves the economic slavery of entire nations. As well as all the political messages and depth that no doubt has given countless studying university students sleepless nights as they struggle to complete their thesis, it is a really entertaining read on a surface level about a man looking to escape from the totalitarian society he lives in. It's a grim read, practically a horror story, made all the more terrifying because of the genuine relevance. I would highly recommend 1984. Maybe an induction to Orwell with one of his more straightforward and shorter works like Animal Farm first, maybe, before scoffing on the more complex 1984.